Hey, what's up, Street Talks? There, Kim from there, Kim Street Photography Blog. So, I just wanted to share with you some random turbo thoughts I had about just life in general. So, this is the first question that I've been thinking about. Perhaps the most noble thing we could do in life is for us to strive to become individuals, for us to strive to maximize our own selves, our own potentials to the fullest maximum. And perhaps inherent in this is one of the most important questions is what do you consider? your prime conditions, your optimal conditions for your own personal thriving. So, you know, obviously this is gonna be different for everybody based on what you do and who you are and stuff like that. But for me, I'll just do some practical examples. I am currently striving to maximize my creative abilities to my personal maximum, which means to ideally in theory for the entire day to continually stream all of my ideas thoughts creative artworks and just kind of put it out there without interruption without you know self-censorship and so forth and I feel that when it comes to life what is it that kind of tends to hold us back I think uh, for me it tends to be distraction so um, for me you know, generally I prefer to keep my phone off or keep it on airplane mode so I don't have any distractions. Optimally in the morning, I'm able to focus on my creative work. And so for me actually, one of the most important things is for me to, you know, obviously not have a, a nine to five job. And this is actually the, the thing that a lot of people I think don't understand about, you know, self-employment is I think for me, the best driver of trying to be self-employed is you have so much more en mental energy and time to only focus on working on things that you really, really care about. So this is also the tricky thing too, is that I think maybe some people want to become self-employed so they don't have to quote, quote, uh, work anymore and to just sit home and watch Netflix all day. But actually for me, I think one of the best cases for self-employment is that you yourself are an incredible individual. You have so many great strengths and you know, you have uh, an inner genius within yourself that just wants to be uh, set free. And so what's kind of, so once you become self-employed, the, the best thing is that you could spend all of your energies, all your efforts and all your powers to only work on what you care about and produce what you care about. So actually the irony is that now, ever since I became self-employed, I actually became more productive in the sense that I'm only producing and creating things which I genuinely care about. So it's, for me, um, self-employment is the road to optimal creative uh, thriving. Also, things to, to consider, uh, some things that I, that's been just very practical, practically helpful for me, like living in a minimalist apartment. Um, this, is, this is a joke. If I plug in uh, my vacuum cleaner in the middle of the apartment, I could vacuum every corner of my apartment with just uh, the vacuum. So essentially kind of the, the least maintenance required like possible because ideally I could just spend all my energies and my time and efforts to just to create. And anything that is kind of distracting me or taking away my energy or time, like having to, to clean stuff and maintain stuff is essentially not optimal for my own personal thriving. So uh, other things that I wanted to consider is um, like even uh, owning e even owning a car is kind of a, a big pain to ask for me because you know I love I love fancy sports cars and I, I love the design but I would never want to maintain them I would never want to take care of them and so forth so maybe the optimal thing in life is to rent a Lamborghini on the weekends but so having for me once again uh, optimal conditions for my personal thriving having coffee on tap, so I'm always constantly brewing uh, coffee at home. Uh, other things is, and this is just a, a thing that I'm grateful about living in America, is that we have clean water on tap, which is something that a lot of people don't really appreciate. But uh, uh, once you go to like Cuba or Mexico City or some other countries, you know, you can't drink the tap water. It's actually really annoying having to buy bottled water all the time. Uh, having super fast Wi-Fi at the apartment, which is good because I could just constantly be uploading stuff without any sort of interruption. Uh, living in a city where I could just walk everywhere because I think the source of all of our creative ideas and insights 
are actually from our feet, which means like this is why I like to do these like, as my friend Carl says, gorilla style vlogs is that as I walk and talk, I can actually flesh out my thoughts better than if I just stay seated. So even for me optimally, I'd be walking around all day. I wouldn't actually be, I wouldn't ever be seated during the day. So for me, the optimal life is just where I could just constantly walk, think, produce and write. And so just kind of realize, just think about like taking all the kinks of your life in order to maximize your uh, creative productivity. Other things which have been useful for me in terms of uh, simplifying cooking. So me and Cindy are a huge fan of uh, crock pot cooking. So you got it for like 20 bucks. You know, just toss in a huge chunk of meat, put in a few spices in the morning, push a button and bada bing bada boom by dinner, you have all this amazing meat ready and you got like six pounds of it. So essentially it's simplifying all the parts of your life that is not really that important to you. So for me, like even for me, uh, I, the way I look at food is that I want the optimal food or fuel to just kind of give me power, which tends to be uh, meat. And during the day, I just drink a lot of water and coffee and stuff like that and walk a lot. Also being close, uh, close access to a gym because, you know, the more physically strong I am, I feel like I'm more mentally and creatively strong as well. So your life is short. I think one of the, the, the funnest experiments we could have in life is Strive to optimize your life to have the best possible conditions for your own personal uh, creative thriving, for your own personal creative productivity. I don't know what that is for you, but maybe it's something we all could kind of continue to strive for. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.